Hello everybody, this is the Photoshop Workbench and I'm Mark Johnson. Thank you for being here. If you've never heard of FilterForge, allow me to be the first to tell you that it's the most remarkable filter generating product that I've ever encountered. Within 24 hours of downloading the fully functional free trial, I was completely addicted. FilterForge is a high-end plug-in for Photoshop that allows computer artists to build their own filters. Uh, seamless textures, visual effects, distortions, patterns, backgrounds, frames, and more. They can then submit the filters for use by anyone who owns FilterForge. What this means is that creative people worldwide are developing every kind of filter imaginable for use by people like you and me. <laughs> Although FilterForge uh, is expensive, there are several downloadable FilterForge free packs as well as periodic discounts on the product. In my humble opinion, the watercolor painting, old drawing .03 and Crown Master V2 filters alone are worth the price of admission and they just barely scratch the surface of creative possibilities. I could go on for days about the creative potential of Filter Forge, but for now I'll limit myself to demoing one gorgeous effect. We'll transform a photograph into an old drawing then use Photoshop to organically restore color to just one part. So the first thing you want to do if you're interested in this because there is a fully functional 30-day free trial is go to www.filterforge.com um, you can go right through the link here on my site I love this product so much uh, that I'm endorsing it in every possible way <laughs> and uh, you can go right through the link on my site um, and uh, you'll land on the home page. Now, go in here and uh, click download and download the, uh, the fully functional free trial. Go ahead and get that. By the way, there um, are also Filter Forge free packs on this page. You're going to see them here and these things are going to blow you away. I actually haven't even gotten into the free packs at all because I like the fully functional product so much I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to buy this <laughs> without any question. Um, keep in mind uh, that if you fall in love with it and you feel like it's too expensive, um, I've seen Filter Forge offer uh, discounts uh, from time to time, so just kind of keep your eyes out for that. But anyway, download Filter Forge. Once it's downloaded, what you do, and you can do this coming from the Filter Forge uh, software, or you can do it off the site. I've been doing it off the site, so that's what I'll show you. What you can do is you can go to Filters here, click on that link, and um, there are lots of ways to look for filters. You can go look at the featured filters here. Uh, you can go look at the popular ones here. You can go look by category here and you can even search. So a lot of possibilities. Um, I'm going to go in here to creative and let's see if I can find the one that I'm looking for. There it is. Old drawing .03. This is the one I'm going to demo in this particular workbench. So you click on that. Now it shows you what it will do. Here's your before, here's your after. <laughs> okay, does that look natural? Everything in here, or not everything, but most things in here look insanely natural and I've never seen anything like this before. There are also presets or variations on this and you can view those right here and you can also work with those inside the actual Filter for Forge software. So anyway, it's downloaded. Um, Software is downloaded. You want to load this filter into the software. You click open this filter in FilterForge. I'm not going to do that because I've already um, opened this filter in FilterForge. You can, what I've done is I've gone through and I've just located hundreds of filters that I'm completely ecstatic about and I've opened them all in FilterForge. Once you open the filters that you're interested in, what you can do here, let me just hide that. Let me go on into FilterForge. This is the actual software. Um, you'll see they're all located in the same categories that you saw them on the website. And um, here are the actual effects. In fact, you can see uh, these are the bottles that we're going to use for this tutorial. Right now, this is the watercolor painting effect on them. There are variations of that effect right down here. I wish I had hours to show you this because it's just awesome. Um, 
here's the old drawing that we're going to work with right now. Um, but oh, I've, I've just got to let's see here. I've just got to show you. Um, let me see if I can find where is uh, here. I'll just click on fiber image while we're in uh, search mode here and let you take a look at this absolutely crazy, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, I'm looking for Crown Master. Um, there it is. Anyway, look what it's doing to this photo. Have you ever seen a filter that does that? I have not. Um, all right, so here, let's go into Crown Master. Here's another one that I think is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Simulating natural media. Anyway, so you can see there are lots of choices here, lots of categories over here. When you load the filters from the website, they're going to pop right in here. Here's what Crown Master does to this. Um, wow. Anyway. <laughs> Here's what you need to do. Um, technically, you can get to Filter Forge through Photoshop, um, but all that does is basically open the file into this Filter Forge software that you see right here. So um, you can choose to get through, through from Photoshop, or if you're like me, uh, you can just come right here into the Filter Forge software. Now, I'm going to be using this image that you see right here. I already picked out that image before I came to Filter Forge. You choose File open image. By the way, there's new image here because a lot of these filters uh, generate textures and patterns and things like that and you don't need to begin with a photograph. You can just generate gorgeous textures and patterns that you can use for montaging and things like that. But here I'm going to choose to open the image. I'll go locate uh, that file that I want to bring in here. I'll hit choose. It will load up the file and then I will go locate the uh, one we're going to use for today's workbench. We're going to use old drawing here. All right, so there it is. Again, does that, <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable that a filter is capable of doing that. There are other presets here. You can click on them and see what they, what kind of look they give you. Actually, you have to double click on those and show you different looks very quickly. Or you can take the preset that you have here and you can go into settings and you can change all of this criteria. Everything you see here you can change. In addition, if you are creating patterns for montaging or if you're creating textures for 3D modeling, something like that, you can seamlessly tile most of the patterns and textures available through Filter Forge. <laughs> Remarkable! Okay, now, um, by the way, Filter Forge is not paying me anything to uh, to tell you about this product. It's just, <laughs> I'm just this excited about it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to change any settings now. I'm going to hit Save Image As. I'll give it a name. Um, I'll call it Bottles. Um, and I'm going to call this one the effect name. So that's called Old Drawing. Old Drawing. Okay. And I'll place it right here into this folder. Um, you can't save a PSD out of here, which is a bummer, but you can save a TIFF, and that's just fine. Click the Save button, and you get to choose the TIFF options. Typically, I'll be working with 16-bit and no image compression. That might vary for various projects, 16-bit and no image compression, press OK. Now, this is a 650 pixel, <laughs> approximately one or two megabyte file that I'm working on, so um, everything is happening extremely fast. I'm also on a fast computer here. If you're working on big files, some of these filters render slowly, so be prepared to do other things while you wait for these to render. This one's already done, happened almost immediately, but um, that's because it's a tiny file and it's um, a fast computer. So just keep that in mind. All right, now what I'm going to do is dive into Bridge here. Here is the Filter Forge file. Here's the original. Can you believe <laughs> I got from here to here that quickly and it looks that good? Now what we're going to do is we're going to be a little creative in Photoshop because this is after all called the Photoshop Workbench. So I'm going to click on this one and then Command or Control click here and choose Tools Photoshop Load Files into Photoshop Layers. All right, That gives me a layered file here. By the way, the filtered images out of Filter Forge uh, do not have color management in place. So when you open your files into Photoshop, um, you're going to want to make sure that you assign a profile. Uh, that you assign a particular profile to uh, that image. 
Um, you don't want to leave it uncolor managed, which is going to be the case with images that come out of FilterForge. Hopefully that'll improve for them at some point in time. Anyway, what we're going to do here is, uh, I guess it really doesn't matter which one we have on top, but let's go ahead and drag this layer up on top, the original picture. Whoops, let's try that again. The original picture right there, and let me hide bridge, get that out of the way. All right, now what we're going to do is temporarily hide this entire layer here. So hold down Option on the Mac or Alt on the PC and click the front loading washer that you see right here and that reveals this image below. Now what I want to do is bring back the beautiful color that's in this bottle here and you can see that that color is going to be pink and yellow. I want to bring back that color here. So I'm going to use a paintbrush to do this but I'm going to use a paintbrush with some creative options. So I'll activate the brush tool I'll set white as the foreground. I've got 100% opacity and flow. I've got the default brushes loaded up here, and I'm going to choose the, I think it's this one. Let's see. Yes, one of these chalk ones. Let's go with 36, chalk 36 pixels right now. We'll choose that one. We'll go into the brushes panel, and in here, I'm going to change some attributes. I'm going to turn on shape dynamics. And I'm going to control the size jitter of this, like that. Okay. Now I'm going to control the angle jitter, like this. Then I'm going to click on scattering, and I'm going to scatter this in both axes, both axes, like that. You see the effect you get. You can get a really nice uh, brush out of playing with uh, the various options that you have right here. Now I'm going to zoom this up and shrink my brush a little. And I'm going to start painting. You can see how this brush creates a rough edge, which is uh, consistent with the effect that you have here inside the old drawing. So I'm going to shift click up here, draw a straight line. Make this a little bigger. You see, I'm being trying purposefully being a little sloppy as I do this because I'm trying to mimic the look of what you'd get if you were actually drawing this in. All right, now come down here. I'll tap five to go to 50% opacity, and I'll paint the reflection in right down here. Just like that. There we go. I like the way that looks. So here's what's visible about this layer, and then you can see what's visible about the layer below. And I can do that, of course, with other bottles. I could have a field day here. Um, this is just one example of uh, working with a beautiful filter forge filter, which is stunning in and of, in of its in and of its own right. But you can take those filtered images then and you can get creative with them in Photoshop by blending different filtered images um, in different ways until you get exactly the look you want. So uh, <laughs> enough said. Filter Forge, you've got to check it out. Again, there's a link right here on my site. Uh, it's associated with this workbench and I'm probably going to have, I'm not, I haven't confirmed this yet, but I think I'm going to have a link um, on the right hand side of the page as well. So have a blast. Um, try not to get addicted. I know I did. <laughs> and thank you for being with me on the Photoshop Workbench.